Hello, welcome back. Electric Recording Company. The new folk sound of Terry Kelly. Arrived a couple of days ago. And let's get into this extremely, extremely interesting uh, edition. An extremely interesting guy and musician, you know. But before, before we go into the record and, and, and Terry Collier, let's briefly talk about the so far biggest release in a way when it comes to the electric recording company, the door self-titled Mono Edition. Because yesterday it was available at their, at their web sh website, at their web shop. Yeah, but what... <laughs> What does available mean? It was gone probably under one minute, although they did 450 copies this time. But I think quite some copies has gone to the um, to the official Doors website. So this this title was gone into seconds, probably seconds. And and yeah, of course this. This edition casts its shadows uh, uh, over over this video a bit, and we will see the door self-titled Mono Electric Recording Company version probably mid-February. That was what they said on the website. And 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 the contrast between the door self-titled and 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 this release, the new folk sound of Terry Kellyer, in a way can't. Be bigger in my opinion. When I when I saw the announcement, honestly, I I had no idea who who is Terry Kelly. And 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 of course I trust Electric Recording Company. So okay, they will put it out for a reason. And I got a little bit into him. Uh, he did this album in 1966. This, his next release took six years. He he was a childhood friend of of Curtis Mayfield, but he, at least as a singer or, or musician, he hadn't had such a big success in his time. He became quite famous in Great Britain in the early 90s, funnily as a DJ, which is also quite a story. Uh, no, no success as a musician, but then way, way later uh, as a DJ, and then he died at the age of 67 in 2012. But now let's get into into uh, 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 the ERC version of 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 this this album. We get our handcrafted, bespoke, beautiful, sturdy jacket. Beautiful, you, you know, it's done with a Heidelberger, a very old Heidelberger. You, you, you can feel the, the, the printing, amazing, really beautiful. Um, yeah, this is, of course, always a highlight when it comes to the electric recording company, the jackets. We get our Obi stripes, Obi stripe, singular. I show it a bit closer. So here you have it in its full glory. It says ERC 083, number 83, Terry Kellia, the, the new folk song of Terry Kellia. We have Terry Kellia on guitar and vocals. We have Tibor Attenborough on bass and John Tweedle on bass. Two, two bass players, okay. Yeah, then the, the uh, usual... Um, description of their amazing uh, uh, mastering machine. We go into this once more because there are quite some interesting facts that are not stated here we, when we do the doors. Um, it is released strictly limited, individually numbered editions of 340, 45. I now show you the vinyl. So here you have the label, so no deep groove. Here is 
the vinyl, pristine and shiny. We are talking about a mono release here. And yeah, as I said, I haven't heard about him. No idea. Terry Kelly. Okay, so then the edition came, I cleaned it and then I put it on my turntable. And then he started singing. Damn, he sings beautiful. Uh, this is what comes first to mind and to ears. His really, really, really beautiful, beautiful voice. Very soulful. You know, we are talking here this soul folk music. In a way, of course, we have those bass players, but a man and his guitar in a way. It's wow but the the center of it is his voice his singing and that's amazing he sings like an angel really he has the exact amount of schmaltz that you need his phrasing so soulful beautiful that was or is amazing really amazing that was gorgeous and um, this goes on through the complete, through the whole record. And um, yeah, bass players, we have two of them. The bass is quite prominent and not the best bass I've ever heard on a record, but still it's, it, it's, 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 it's done very well. But if you want to find Karl, später, komm, komm, ja, 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 komm. Karl is digging a hole on the sofa, sorry. Um, but, but the overall sound, it accompanies everything very well. And when, <laughs> Karl, stop, come, come, stop. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, um, I was about the singing. The, the singing is the center. And the, his voice, his singing is so dead centered on this record. That's, that's amazing. Really amazing. You know, I talked about the Shelby Lynn from Analog Productions quite some times that I used that for the uh, speaker positioning. Here we have the same. It's very rare that I have a singer that dead centered. And this is pristine. This is amazing. Another thing that's amazing and astonishing is I of course put this uh, record into my Discogs collection and then I saw that it already was sold two times. 999 euros after a couple of days. Wow. Wow. I know that that the ERC is really really fighting this flipping and they are in a way quite successful because there has been these two copies and at least up until now there is no other copy so if two what can you do uh, they are, i know that they are really really after this that they really do not want this but that again shows how uh, how highly regarded those releases are nowadays and i just can imagine what happens with the doors um, we will see. This will be quite, quite interesting. Uh, if, if they double within uh, three days, oh my God. But on the other hand, um, we always see that, or we see that quite, quite often. After the first hype, and not only with the ERC, also with some of those electronic avant-garde releases, the prices go down again a bit and uh, uh, aren't that insanely for, for, for some releases you know that happens every now and then we all know that we all like it when we have the records we all don't like it when we don't have the records in a way yeah that but still that was quite amazing to see because as i said at the beginning of this video this is not such a highly anticipated title so that was a surprise to me, for me. And yeah, the, the, the edition in general is of pure beauty, 
and and the sound again you know this valve system this warm this warm vinyl this warm analog sound it's like a huge hug with a nice blanket to me simply beautiful and then of course it this this overall analog vinyl touch sound is of course a superb beautiful addition to his yeah he sings like an angel to his singing that was a big big very very positive surprise so yeah the next erc will probably be the doors mono self-titled we will see what the outcome is how it is how it stands up sold out already <laughs> yeah we have to live with that okay thank you very much for your time and see you on the next one bye <laughs>